Hi guys, uh, it's me again, Daisy, and for today's video, uh, it's all about uh, six designer perfumes that didn't work for me. Before we proceed to that, uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new to my channel, I usually do perfume related videos and most of the perfumes that you're going to see in my videos are uh, affordable, some are designers, some are um, celebrity perfumes. I don't have niche or very expensive uh, fragrances in my collection because I don't have that much money to spend on. But I have quite a collection and I have here six that unfortunately didn't work for me. Before we proceed to the video, um, if you are, uh, if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you uh, consider subscribing to my channel. It helps my channel grow, and um, slowly my channel is growing. So I would love for you to be part of my growing family. And okay, I have here six perfume that I am going to share with you. And the first one is the 2-1 to Coralina Herrera. At one point, I really liked this perfume. Oh, not really like. I got this because of the uh, YouTuber. Uh, I'm not going to mention her, her name. But she she's the reason why I got this perfume. I got this blind buy. Actually, all these six perfumes that I am going to show you are all blind buy. And um, at one point, I tried to use this. A couple of times but there's something in the scent here that I don't like this is this is a fresh clean soapy scent but I don't know there's something in the note that irritates me that gives me um, detergent uh, feel detergent soap feel that um, I don't know why makes my nose itch and uh, triggers headache so, I am not going to uh, say the notes because I don't have time for that and I don't want to make this video too long because I know you don't that because um, when I see the analytics, uh, many of you skip. So, yeah, that's why I don't talk too much. Uh, the next one that I'm going to show you is this one. This is Prada Candy Kiss. And in the bottle, I really love the scent, but the cherry note in this scent doesn't work for me. This one also triggers headache. This is a lovely, beautiful scent. And all the perfumes that I am going to mention, to mention in this video are all good perfumes. They are very nice. They smell really good. Uh, I love the sweetness, but it's too sweet for me. And that sour cherry note is... Uh, something that i don't know and um i have few other perfumes that has cherry notes in it um and then i realized that the cherry nut really doesn't work with my skin chemistry because the moment i spray this it has uh once the scent develops or mix with my skin uh, it gives me that irritating uh scent that gives me headache uh i could tolerate the the cherry note as long as it's not too prominent it's not too pungent um that i can tolerate so the next one is the i'm sorry guys my cat my phone overheated so i i stopped for a while and so um, this is uh, the chloe eau de parfum and there's something in this that gives me a fabric conditioner vibe that I cannot stand. It's fresh, it's clean, it's floral, but there's something in this perfume that I cannot stand. That gives me or reminds me of a fabric conditioner uh, scent. So the next one is this one. This is Lolita Limpica. And I really got this because of the packaging. Also blind buy. And um, unfortunately, it doesn't work for me. The licorice note here uh, irritates me, gives me headache. And also, um, the thing that I don't like here is this one. This is so thin that every time I try to use this, it's kind of poke my hand. So, yeah, but I really love the packaging and 
I, I got this because uh, I've seen that they are going to or they prepackage the bottled and I prefer the original packaging and so I really got this because of the packaging uh, it's not a good thing but uh, yeah that's what it is to me uh, the next one here is Versace Crystal Noir and this is the Udi Toilet this is 30 bottle 30 ml bottle and the thing here is uh this is once uh very hype in the fragrance community i know many of you love this perfume it's probably everyone uh pro probably this perfume is in everyone's um collection but unfortunately the coconut uh scent here doesn't work for me it gives me headache i don't know why i get a smoky coconut feel um here it's uh here in the philippines we called it copra they smoke the the coconut and the the oil that they can get uh from the coconut they put it in the or one of the raw materials that they use for uh, beauty products uh maybe some in perfumes i find it's too strong for me and so headache and too headachey uh yeah i find that i find uh, i found out that coconut and cherry note is is really not for me i like i like it as a, as a fruit as a food but as a perfume no i don't think it will work i have another perfume with coconut uh the take mark jacobs daisy dream but it's light that i cannot almost detect so it that's why it works for me so last but not the least is this one this is a girl of now from Ely sub and girl i know you like this perfume many of you love this perfume i got this um while um i got this when i was still in taiwan and i know that this perfume really works for winter time and unfortunately because of the covid uh i came back here in the philippines and i don't know where i'm going to use this but even even while i'm in taiwan i cannot really stand this probably i use this once or twice or probably less than five times and every time i use this this gives me headache this is too rich this is too strong this is too thick for my liking that i cannot really stand um don't get me wrong guys all this perfume are really really good perfume they really smells good but unfortunately that this perfume doesn't work for me i'm sorry if i said something that offended you but there's something in this perfume or the perfume nose that really uh, triggers headache or irritates my nose that's why i stopped using this i have tried um using this perfume a couple of times and every now and then just to check if i have a change of heart uh towards this perfume but every time i spray this i i always get the same feeling over and over again so i am not going to force myself anymore to like this perfume but uh these are the six perfume that currently doesn't work for me and i hope that i didn't get to offend you if you like this perfume but uh i'm happy that it works for you four of this perfume three or four of this perfume are not safe blind buy especially if you're living in a yahat human country you need to check this perfume get decans get samples or uh try to test this um on your selected department store before before purchasing this or before getting this because uh these perfumes are not uh so affordable here in the philippines so better to uh better to check this uh, for yourself and uh i hope you like this video please give me a thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you again next time. Bye, guys.